lot. You're pretty cool. This is Steve. He's got a secret, and it's hidden inside this red bag. Did he offer a co-worker $1,000 for sex? After he sleeps with a girl, does he get rid of her? Or are most of his friends still in high school? We'll open up this bag and a whole lot more coming up on Faggot. Jerry, I am a teacher from Reno, Nevada, oh, okay. and uh, I'm a bit of a jack of all trades. Yes. <laughs> I uh, run a marathon, I enjoy fly fishing, and in the free time I like to build furniture. So you know how to handle wood? I'm okay with wood. And what kind of woman are you looking for? Well, I'm looking for a girl who's confident, and uh, not, like, not quirky, but maybe kind of, you know, artsy. Well, I have seen the women backstage, and they are beautiful, so that much I that can tell. That helps, too. Let's meet them. She's a waitress from Memphis, Tennessee. Say hello to Miranda. Hi, Steve. I'm a classic country singer, songwriter. I love to dance and entertain. They call me Malibu Cowgirl. So I think we should ride it out. <laughs> <laughs> she's as sweet as can be. She is, yeah. Up next, she's a law student from Houston. Give it up for Elizabeth. I'm the total package. I'm a law student, a model, and you never know where in the world you might find me. You should choose me, and I'll take you along for the ride. Whoa. And if you don't choose her, she'll sue you. <laughs> and finally, she's a cocktail server from Hemet, California. Let's hear it from Molly. Hi, Steve. I'm the total girl next door. I love to cook, and I love going to rock shows. So if you stick with me, I'll rock your socks. <laughs> Well, these ladies bought a small, medium, and large bag, each hiding a bit of dastardly dirt, which will help Steve choose one of them for the day. Now, ladies, it is time to peek into your smallest piece of baggage. Miranda. I substitute hearts for every vowel I write. It's kind of cute for like a seven-year-old. Yeah. Miranda, how cute is that? Super cute. I love love, and I want a shirt. Me too, Stephen. I do. Let me say this, Miranda. Yes. When it comes to vowels, there's no substitute for you and I. Aww. <laughs> Elizabeth, please reveal your baggage. <laughs> 